Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to repot my spider plant. Recently I've been experiencing the spider plant. When you put it indoor and in a low light situation, your leaf started to get skinny. So you see the leaf start to get skinnier. So that's a sign that you get really low light and your plants start to reduce small leaves and skinny leaves. And this one, I put it outside in my hanging baskets and the leaves start to... So you see how thick the leaf, like how wide the leaf is. So they're really big compared to the indoor one. So you started to get skinny and long leaves. So today I'm just gonna put it outside and repot all my cling. I'll show you down here. This is what I'm doing at the moment. Got my bucket here. So this is the plant from inside. So I just repot it and put it outside and hopefully it will start to get a larger leaf. So this is done. It's a beautiful day today in Australia. I've been all my time in the office and this is the only time that I spend my time outside. So I got two. So it's, so I did the first one and I just realized I need to show you guys a video. And yes. See how skinny the leaves is? Hopefully, I'm gonna get a better plant compared to this one. So, this is a different type of um, the spider plant. Um, this is the green one, I believe. So, you got the green leaf in the middle and this white stripe on the outside. This is the very variegated one. You got the white mark in the middle, and you got the white stripe on the outside. So it's like a reverse. This one requires a lower light than the other one. I'm super excited. Um, it's spring right now, so the weather started to get warmer and I hope all my plants will grow so you got the background so that's my mess there I'm just just started to cleaning up today so yeah I will make an update video about this one when it get more lighting the leaves get bigger so stay tuned and thanks for watching Hi, welcome back. Today video, I'm going to show you an update of my spider plant. This is a beautiful, beautiful plant. Look at it. I have two types, as I mentioned before. I have two types, and I want to get more types um, of them. So this is the green one, and they're producing baby at the moment. As you can see I love the green one more because their leaves are bigger and thicker so this is the variegated one it hasn't produced baby yet but I am super happy this one here, they're growing babies. So when you propagate them, all you need to do is take off the baby and put it on top of the soil or maybe inside of the soil and they will grow roots. And that's become a whole new plant. So if, if you count, I have like one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like a lot, a lot of babies. Um, I also have one small here. Oh, on this side, I have one that produced baby with the variegated one. So, see that um, spike there? 
So when you see that, that's a new plant. Sorry about the focus. Um, come on. So this is, so this is a new plant. See here? This is a new plant. So, I am happy. It's, they're so beautiful, but their roots are a lot. They have a lot of thick roots because their roots are holding water. Different type of succulents that I got here. I love, love succulents. It's so awesome. It's so thick and juicy. I love them so much. Oh, 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 oh,